Okay. What I'm proposing. So let me widen the argument. Let's stipulate that you're right. Let's say armed guards might work. Let's, let's widen the argument out a little bit. So here is a magazine for ammunition that carries 30 bullets. Now, isn't it possible that if we got rid of these, if we replaced them and said, well, you could only have a magazine that carries five bullets or ten bullets, isn't it just possible that we could reduce the carnage in a situation like New York? I don't believe that's going to make one difference. There are so many different ways to evade that, even if you had that. You had that for ten years when Dianne Feinstein passed that ban in 94. It was on the books. Columbine occurred right in the middle of it. It didn't make any difference. I know everybody, the, 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 this town wants to argue about gun control. I don't think it what, what will work. What will work is this, but I'll tell you this. To, this is a matter of logic, Mr. LaPierre, because anybody watching this is going to say, hey, wait a minute, I just heard Mr. LaPierre say that the standard is we should try anything that might reduce the violence. And you're telling me it's not a matter of common sense that if you don't have an ability to shoot off 30 rounds without reloading, that just possibly you could reduce the loss of life? David, that Adam Lanza may not have been able to shoot as many kids I, I, if he didn't have as much ammunition? I don't buy your argument for a minute. There are, so many, there are so many different ways he could have done it. He, and, 